What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and today we are going to talk about Barry Morphew's case, okay? Suzanne Morphew, who was his wife, she had went missing. He is being charged of murdering, of murdering her, okay? So she went missing um, in May of 2020, all right? But there's some secrets out about her having an extra marital affair. Uh, so let's get into that. Okay. Cause I think Barry trying to say his wife was cheating. Maybe he was cheating, but we want to see what's going on here. So the testimony came during the first day of the hearing for Barry Morphew, who is 53 years old, who is accused of killing his wife, Suzanne Morphew, who was only 49 years old. Suzanne disappeared from the family's home near Maysville in May of 2020. She was reported missing by a neighbor on Mother's Day 2020, prompting an extensive year-long search before authorities charged her husband in May of 2021. Her body has not been found to this day. All right. Okay, so the sheriff's commander, Alex Walker, testified during a cross-examination that Suzanne Morphew had a two-year extramarital affair. She was in frequent contact with her lover and met up with him at least six times in cities across the U.S. And this is what the sheriff commander, you know, the commander said. And that's Walker. His name is Alex Walker. So he testified to that today. Now, Walker also testified on cross-examinations that Suzanne kept a spy pen, a voice-activated device that looked like a normal pen, but actually recorded audio and video because she feared her husband was having an affair. Now, let me tell you something. There's no pictures of Suzanne with a man I, that I've seen, but there are pictures of Mr. Barry Morphew coming out of some little restaurant with a redhead girl. So, was he also having an affair? Okay, where is Suzanne? See, I see where they're going to try to go with this. And I still feel like Barry Morphew is guilty. Now, Walker said, investigators found no evidence that Barry was having an affair. Although the pen did record conversations that Suzanne Morphew had with her lover, whom she referred to in the recordings only as Jeff. Now, what was in those recordings? Because you can have a male friend. It doesn't mean you bump it around. But we're going to see what else, what else they laid out for us. Okay. Okay, so authorities identified the man in November of 2020. He did not come forward on his own after Suzanne disappeared, but did speak willingly with investigators after he was identified. Now, Walker testified on a course examination. So, in November of 2020, they did um, identify the man who was supposed to be Jeff, who was supposed to be Suzanne's lover, okay? Now, um, he didn't come forward on his own, but they found out who he was, and he did speak with them willingly, the investigators willingly, after he was identified. Now, Monday's hearing is offering the first look at the evidence against Barry Morphew, which has been kept secret since he was arrested. Who is he to keep this stuff secret? This should be public record, but okay. Investigators filed a 130-page affidavit detailing the case, but it was sealed by the 11th Judicial District um, Chief Judge Patrick Murphy, who in June denied a request from the Denver Post and a group of other media outlets to make the document public, citing concerns about Morphew's right to a fair trial. Now, Murphy ruled the affidavit would be released seven days after Morphew's four-day hearing, which is set for Monday, Tuesday, and August 23rd and August 24th. All right. Now, in addition to the first degree murder, Morphew is accused of destroying, mutilating, concealing, removing or altering his wife's body in attempt to avoid arrest, as well as possessing an illegal short rifle 
and attempting to influence public servants. Okay, in the 2020 presidential election, Morphew filled out his wife's mail-in ballot voting for Donald Trump. Hmm. He is charged with forgery in that case, which is separate from the murder case. Now, what he did right there was just, he he's guilty. It shows he's guilty. Your wife is missing, okay, which we know we had, you had something to do with it. Okay, let's just break it down. What if Miss Suzanne was having an affair, right? And he found out. It's like, how dare you have an affair on me? You get what I'm saying? He could have been doing a lot of stuff that we don't have any proof of. And Suzanne could have been like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to do my thing. Okay. Barry Morphew seems like he's kind of like a, a narcissist, you know, like if things don't go his way, you know, he throws a temper, temper tantrum or he just seems to me like a bully. I don't know why. I just get them vibes from him. And, you know, if how, it's like a how dare you having a fit on me type of thing, you know, and I'm just guessing here. I'm not sure because I don't know that man from a can of ham. I don't. But I'm just guessing here. But it's just his vibes that give off, that he gives off. So, and it's like a how dare you do this, you know, and they had an argument, a fight, and he did something to her. Because why would you mail, why would you fill out your wife's mail in ballot voting for Donald Trump? Like, come on. Anyway, so Morphew told investigators that he, he last saw his wife about 5 a.m. on May 10th, 2020, when he left their home to go to Broomfield for a landscaping job. He said she was sleeping and he did not wake her. Now, Walker testified. He later said he texted her around 7.30 a.m. to wish her a happy Mother's Day and became concerned when she did not respond. Walker testified that Suzanne's cell phone was last active at 4.23 a.m. May 10th. He also testified Monday that investigators did not find any of Suzanne's blood inside the family's home or in Morpheus truck. Suzanne's mountain bike was found in a rough terrain at the bottom of a steep ditch off of County Road 225 in the evening of May 10th, 2020. Now, Morphew drove back to Chaffee County that night and went to the scene where he asked if it appeared she had crashed. When a deputy said it didn't look that way, Morphew suggested she may have been attacked by a mountain lion or oh, whatever. I don't know. He just, he, my Barry just get on my nerve. I'm serious. He really do. I know I don't know him like that, but he, it just seems like he know he did it, but he's going to drag this trial out. Okay. But anyway, in court, Barry Morphew wore a gray striped suit and a blue medical mask. He sat quietly, occasionally whispering with his attorneys or pointing to papers in front of him when his attorney, Drew Nielsen, talked about him describing Suzanne as his angel and a special, wonderful person. He appeared to become emotional and dabbed his eyes with a tissue. Child, we all know how narcissistic people work, honey. We all know. Mm, mm, mm. Now, what, what really grabbed my mind was Suzanne wasn't reported by her husband. She was reported missing by a neighbor. Okay? So, I don't know. I don't know. But they saying that um, Suzanne had a, a an affair a two-year affair, um, and they cannot find any evidence of Barry's affair. I don't know. To me, it just seems like I don't think Suzanne was having an affair. And if she was, I'm pretty sure Barry was having his own affair, okay? He was having his own affair because he was moving funny after all this had happened. And then if you look at the video 
when he was talking about his um when he was reporting his wife missing and talking about oh you know i want her back he, he didn't even look convincing in the video about his missing wife he didn't look convincing at all Her body is, has still never been found. He's a landscaper for crying out loud. He probably know where to put the body and what to put over it. And next thing you know, you got trees and flowers growing on top of it. He's a landscaper. He could have put that body anywhere. Anywhere. I don't know, but that's what happened at the hearing today. So we're going to see what else is going on. I, like I told Drive, I, when I know more, you guys will know more. But, um... I don't know why they kept this all a secret. Talking about some fair trial. He would have got a fair trial, but we didn't know what was in that. What's really going on. If, I don't know why they keeping, why they kept this thing so secretive. And then they're going to release the documents or whatever seven days after the, um, the hearing is over. Please. No, what it is, is Barry trying to get out of jail because he don't want to be in jail in November. And I did read that in some article that he didn't want to sit in jail to November. Or whatever the case may be. But if you did the crime, you're going to sit there and do the time. And if you didn't do it, you still want to sit there. Because you are arrested and accused of killing your wife. Which I think he did. I think he did. To me, him and Chris Watts should be should be brothers. And Chris Watts, oh God. That's another one. That's a whole other topic for a whole different another day. Um, but yeah, this is the hearing was today. So he, the hearing is tomorrow as well. So we'll find out what they say in tomorrow. But I did get it confused because in another video that I did, I did talk about the spy pen. I thought it was um Barry's um spy pen, but it was Suzanne's spy pen. Um, and she had recordings of you know stuff on there so that pen belonged to suzanne i thought it belonged to barry because that's how one of the articles had wrote it that it was barry's pen um you know whatever the case may be but i hope he's not trying to say this woman had an affair she could have just had a close friend that she talked to and confided in because maybe she could have confided in her husband with certain things this lady went through a heck of of, of health issues you know she had cancer some type of rare cancer at one point and she beat it twice so I, i'm just not understanding i don't know it just don't seem right he did something to her body he did he hurt her and all that kind of stuff um and he needs to own up to it i really do think he murdered his wife if you think otherwise, let me know in the comment section why you think Barry is the killer and why you don't think Barry is the, um, killed his wife. I would like to know your thoughts and opinion on this. So, but I know one thing that I can't stand him and that's for sure. And I don't even know him like that. But anyway, you guys, Barry is a creep and his lawyers are a creep right along with him. Because if they can't see all of this, I don't know. And if she was having an affair, we don't know what was going on deeply in their their marriage. You know, he could have had somebody um, just didn't, you know, leave any evidence around. But he could have had somebody. I do believe he had an affair. I do believe he had an affair. And another thing strike me as funny is why the girls were out of town for, you know, and it's Mother's Day. You know, what you want to be around your mom for Mother's Day? Like, why were they out of town? Or did they just leave to go out of they did they leave to go out of town and wasn't back in time for Mother's Day? But I don't know. It just seemed like there's some we're gonna get some strange stuff coming up. I think we're gonna about be about to hear some strange, strange things with this case. Well, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Um, it's gonna get interesting, I think, and I will talk to you guys later.